have done the impossible. We have made history. I am so grateful for all your support over the years. It's what keeps me going. And, and to the people of Ontario, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you for your trust. And thank you for once again putting your confidence in me. It's, it's a responsibility that I will never take lightly. But most importantly, thank you for sharing in a vision for our great province. Sharing, <laughs> sharing in a dream of a bright and prosperous future, an era of unprecedented growth and opportunity. So if you're a miner in the north who's out of work, I want you to know we're building that road to the ring of fire. <laughs> if, if, if you've had to worry about your job at the local auto plant, I want you to know we're investing in the future of Ontario's auto sector. If you're a student who wants to work in the tech sector, we will have a job waiting for you. If, if, if you're a newcomer with a degree who can't get a job in your field, we'll make sure you can get credentials you need. This is what we're working for. This is what the Ontario dream is all about. And my promise to you, you have my word, that every single day I will get up and I will get to work and I will do everything in my power to deliver on this dream. Because tonight's victory, it isn't about me, it isn't about the party. This victory belongs to every worker who knows that they deserve better. It belongs to every family who knows that they can dream bigger. But most of all, this victory belongs to each and every one of you. And thank you so much to the millions of Ontarians who made their vo voices heard in this election. To every Ontarian, regardless of who you voted for, thank you for caring. Thank you for caring about our province and our future. Respecting the voters means listening to all that they tell us. And this is something I want to remind Mr. Ford about. That respecting the voters is about listening to all of what they tell us. So, I'm going to save my final thanks for my family, my friends, and the people of Hamilton. I love you too. I love you too. I love you too. And my commitment to you is never going to waver. And I'm going to keep working to earn your confidence each and every day. I'm going to keep doing that. But tonight, it's time for me to pass the torch, to pass the baton, to hand off the leadership of the NTP. And you know what? It makes me sad, but it makes me happy. Because our team is so strong right now. this room. It is really wonderful for me to see all of you. And I just want to say again, I have no doubt that the women and men that Ontario Liberals have elected to the legislature will do their part, in fact will do more than their part, to help grow a new and energetic progressive movement here in Ontario. It will, however, be a movement that will be led by a new leader. Earlier this evening, I informed our party president of my decision to step down from the leadership of our party, and I have asked him to meet with the executive to set a leadership contest for as soon as is reasonable. I am again so very proud of the work that we did 